Right, Barham, we'll start off with last week's uh, last week's game. First hat trick as a professional footballer. How did it feel at the end of the game? No, it had been a little while, so you know it was kind of not surreal. That's that's the wrong word to use, but it, it was nice. It was a nice feeling, but it, it didn't really sink in until you know Saturday, Saturday evening. <laughs> they let they let me know. You you, um, you came back into the side. There's no better way to announce your return into the team than score a hat trick, is there? Is that you know exactly, exactly what you wanted to do to make a statement about being in the team? Yeah, the perfect the perfect way to to reintroduce yourself to the team. Um, was on the bench the game before, and like I said, I thought I'd done enough, you know, to maybe uh, warrant a start. You know, the manager felt the same way, so just tried to do my best, and you know, the luck was on my side on on Saturday. Yeah, and I think your last hat tricks were before you went to Stevenage. The closest you probably come to scoring a hat trick before Saturday was uh, against Chelsea, wasn't it, at Stevenage? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, really early on in my career um, as a professional. You know, I had had two goals and just remember running through on goal, um, already having two and just like overthinking it. I think uh, Brownie just smothered it at the end. But yeah, there was a couple of opportunities there where I didn't really take, make the most of it, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad, you know, that I done a little bit extra running to um, to get the third and make sure I had I got, I got the hat trick. Yeah. Cheltenham fans will remember that game at Stevenage for all the wrong reasons, but for you, is it is it one that stands out as a bit of a turning point for you, where you sort of announced yourself in the football league? I was definitely on a run of a, a run of goals before the um, that game. If I, if I remember rightly, it was a long time ago. But um, yeah, that was just the momentum of you know being really excited to be a professional, really um, enthusiastic, just taking on everything that I'd been learning, you know, in my first month or so. At, um, at Stevenage, and you know, I scored quite a few goals at, at, at that ground, so I hope that continues for this this weekend. Yeah, so it's the club that gave you your first chance in the league. How, how are you feeling about going back there? Well, there's a lot of lot of people there that um, I still keep in contact with, so it's a uh, it'd be a nice feeling to go back there. And um, I owe I owe Stevenage and uh, Graham Wesley a lot. You know, I could have still been playing non-league. You know, you never know how you how how, how your course is going to go, but. He had the faith in me, and um, I owe a lot to him for that. Yeah, what, what's he like? Cause he's obviously he's had three, I think, three different spells at Stevenage. He's back there now. What's, what's he like as a manager? What's he like to play for? He definitely squeezes the all all he can out of you. Um, he's determined, like meticulous type of person. You know, kind of like a drill sergeant type type uh, person. You know, if you want success, sometimes you you got to work hard for it. I think I think that's his his philosophy. Um, you know, he pushes the boundaries sometimes, but you know, when when you're winning, it's okay. It's okay. So that's it. I just jumped straight on board. You know, I wanted to win stuff, and that and that happened like almost automatically from me leaving um, Carl Shorten in, in January and playing at Old Trafford in at the end of that season. So things pr- pretty went uh, went pretty quick. Yeah, when you were playing, you played for quite a few different non-league clubs, didn't you? When you were at Carsholm, did you did you still think that chance was going to come in the league, or did you ever think it might have gone? You know what? I, I had a few seasons where I was scoring goals, it's just for whatever reason, and you never know what it is. It could be for the same reason that a lot of people get frustrated with me. You know, it might be a, it might have been, been like a body language thing or something, because the goals were always there. It just needed someone to just you know really see that you know I, I had something in me, and and he was that guy. And we've spoken about the body language before, and the fact that sometimes you you might not look like you you're enjoying yourself. But can you can you assure people that you know, whatever you look like you're doing, you are giving everything and enjoying yourself on the pitch? Even with that assurance, it's not going to be enough for a lot of people. So you know, I, I could I could say it, but they'll see the body language again and they'll 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 make up their own minds. You know, so it's not for me to focus on. It's just like I said, it's Saturdays to Saturdays and Tuesdays to get get it right and make sure that. The goals are there because if the goals are there, no one focuses on it. I, I, that, that's 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 proven. So that's that's what I focus on doing, scoring. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about Terry playing well but not scoring goals. Now he started scoring. Suddenly you've got five yourself. I think you and Terry both got five this season now. And it's suddenly looking a lot more healthy for the strikers, isn't it? And if you can Terry with John Marcus as well for the next couple of games can can keep this going. It's, it's got to be good for the team. It's got to be good for the team, you know. I mean. The, at the start of the season, you know, we, we wasn't scoring goals, and that was duly noticed. So we'll, we'll definitely take the, um, 
the highs, you know, with, with the lows that we were receiving before, you know. I, I was happy for Terry when he when he was scoring goals because he works as hard as anyone else. And um, like you said, all the strikers have been scoring, so I'm glad I'm, I've started scoring as well, you know, it's just to keep competition in, in, in that position. Yeah, and just finally, Byron, what sort of reception are you expecting back at Stevenage? You expecting a, a good welcome back because you, you left on good terms, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I have actually been... I didn't start for Wimbledon, but I went back there I think it was... I uh, can't remember what cup it was at the start of the season. It might have been Carlin or something like that. And um, they gave me a good reception then. So, yeah, I, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, I, 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 I left on what I deemed good terms and they were, they were still League One and riding high when when I left them. So, yeah, it'd be good to go back. Speak to you after the game, Byron. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate.